I'm going to teach you how to glow the fudge up. <laughs> so first I need to go shower and then I'm going to shampoo my hair and put on a hair mask. So I'm back from my shower. I have the mask in my hair. I put on body lotion all over my body. I put on deodorant and putting body lotion on or like a moisturizer is also going to allow my perfume to stay for longer. It's a little trick that you can use. I'm using Michaela Vanilla 28. And when I was in the shower, I used this exfoliating brush to really scrub my face. Put bio oil all over my face, and then I'm going to razor my face and get all the little baby hairs off it. So that'll be really helpful. And what you want to do is you want to put some sort of moisturizer or oil on your face before you do this. That way you actually aren't like creating so much friction and you'll be less likely to get razor burn. So here I am with one of my razors. I just get them from the dollar store. You're gonna lift your skin up and slowly go down and you see how much hair I'm getting off. So this really interrupts um, the way your makeup can apply as well. Like if you have a lot of hair on your face, it can make it look patchy. So this just really helps make your makeup look gorgeous for like the next week. Quite a big difference in my skin. It looks really glowy and like just like really nice. I exfoliated the very first layer basically. So next what I'm going to do is I'm just going to brush up my eyebrows and then I'm going to take my little eyebrow scissors and trim all the excess off. Perfect. And then I'm going to go pluck my eyebrows. Be right back. My brows are plucked. My hair has been rinsed out. Now we need to get to our skincare routine. First, I want you to start with retinol serum. If you are new to retinol, we're only going to be using that like once to twice a week at first and then move your way up to like every other day. It can be um, quite hard on your skin, so start with a lower percentage first. Next, we're going in with the Argelene solution. This paired with the Matrixel is going to help diminish fine lines and wrinkles. So let's get right into that. Next is the Matrixel I was just telling you about. Next is our caffeine solution, and this is just going to brighten up my face. So our skincare is done. A really important thing to remember is before you even apply your makeup, is make sure your skincare is dry. So take anything and fan your face if you need to. Or what I do right now is like now I'm going to go brush my hair and put it in braids so it's a heatless hairstyle so it's less damage on my hair. So today's going to be a super light makeup day. As you can see, like I'm having a little bit of acne and I just shaved my face so I don't want to put a bunch of foundation on my face. It'll just be some concealer. But what I like to do when I don't wear foundation is I use my Charlotte Tilbury's Magic Cream. It is wonderful. I got it as a sample because this stuff is like crazy expensive. But I do find there's quite a difference on it, like on my skin. And it it's what I wear when I don't want to wear foundation that day. But I still want to look like my, my skin's nice. Um, so I'll put that on. And then... What we're gonna do is we're gonna frame our face. So basically I'm gonna do my eyebrows, my eyelashes, and my lips, and some blush. So there's one eyebrow done, there's one not done. It, you can see it really makes a difference in my face shape and how it's formed. So all I do is I just kinda go on the outline here, bring it down, bring it, put some heavier marks in here. I'm not even like trying to be precise or anything. Then I'm just gonna take this and smudge it out. That way there's no harsh lines and that way it looks as natural as can be but more filled in so i'm just gonna put some concealer on like some of the dark spots one thing i always make sure to do is match it on both sides that way my skin tone looks even and i'll just tap it out we're gonna go with some blush this is the mac and it is petal power it is a dual chrome brush so there's like some gold undertones in here um and some pink it's it's something else really and as you can see like it's gorgeous look at that in the light you can see the gold gorgeous i would actually even be so daring as to wear this as an eyeshadow but yeah so just create like a little t-zone just like that and that's all you need for the blush i'm going to line our lips with the charlotte tilbury lip cheat and pillow talk i think it's really important to just line what you have um I don't mind the overlined look, it's up to you, but I know that it, it can look silly, but do what you want to do. And then I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in Pillow Talk. The nicest thing about this lipstick is it literally smells like chocolate. Like, it's so gorgeous. It's such a natural, nice tone, too, for my skin tone. 
This lipstick is slightly plumping, so I'm going to put on some mascara. I'm using the one size fantasize, and I'm going to put that right on. Face is all done. Our face is glowed up. I'm going to take this hair in about like three hours when my husband's about to get off work. And until then, I'm going to do my nails. I'm using these Kiss Jewel stickers, and I'm going to leave my nails my nails clear and I put the sticker like part way down this will last for over a week and what I do is I put the Sally Hansen hurt his nails over top of it and the, it's dried within 15 to 20 seconds I have children I can't sit there for an hour and let my nails dry I just I'll never have that time they always smudge but with this and this they don't and they last a week the nails and that is how you glow the fudge up <laughs> I hope you enjoyed and I can't wait to see you next time.